What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we were gonna focus on this Dodge Viper, prepping it for paint and hopefully getting it painted within the next couple of days. But the weather is not so promising. They're actually calling for very cold weather and possibly snow. So we don't wanna take that risk and possibly ruin our paint job in that cold weather. But in the meantime, we got something new for the channel, something unique, something different, and something we've never done before. So let's go pick it up and see what it is. they do to it expanding or something yeah it looks like they're expanding or they're building around it or something but yeah they're building a way bigger lot but we are here guys man this is gonna be so exciting hopefully they're not too busy they look pretty but busy. yeah they're always busy but we're gonna go inside pay the people and come right back out and get loaded up all right so we got the paperwork we just got to hand that to the loader and he's gonna load this sucker up, oh, man. Now we can park nice. All the yeah, cars left. Yeah, finally cleaned up a little bit. Oh my goodness! Look oh, how that thing. yeah, look how clean that car is, dude. I don't see why it was on the auction. It must be an enhanced vehicle, you know. Talk about strap, man. They strapped that thing. Man, up. he oh. made sure to strap it down, but man, that thing is clean. Yeah. I gotta say, somebody detailed it up. Maybe something wrong with it. You don't even know, right? got to be real careful now the vehicle that we bought is an insurance vehicle yep, so insurance that's one vehicle. thing that we mainly look out for is it being an insurance car we already gave the paper to the loader and he is going to be coming there out here is. very soon there it is guys see it <laughs> no i'm just kidding it's a nice red color it's going to be sick oh yeah guys check this out there's just a sea of cars here man and they're expanding. Look at that, dude. They're expanding right there like crazy. Copart, we love you, but we hate you. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, kidding. Copart rocks. Yeah, I know. Copart's better than IA. They literally got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cats running at once, man. Except for those two. They're probably taking lunch, but man, that's what I like about these guys, man. They're so quick. They're moving. Hopefully it fits on here, man. It's pretty wide. It's super wide, man. So maybe, maybe the wheels are gonna be sticking out or something <laughs> like that. But let's see, man. I'm excited to see exactly what's what's done to it. Honestly, there's a few mods on it. So guys, check this out when it comes out. Here she is. Dang, looks pretty sweet. Clean, dude. Looks pretty dang sweet. Looks like we got two damaged wheels, but them suckers look wide, wide, wide. Is he gonna fit? Man, oh man. Thank you, sir. Oh, this, this wheel was just, yo, it looks like we got some Brembo's on it, dude. What? What we got? Looks like those are Brembo's, ain't those? Yeah, Akibono's. Dang, somebody cheap painted them, dude. Cheap, man. What Look kind of this. wheels are these? What, what brand are these? I'm not even sure. But they are wide, Super dude. Super wide. Cool bags. What? We got airbags. Dude, Air freaking bags. Look at this wide body, though. Air oh, my gosh. Dude, what does it look inside? That's a good question. Oh. We short got a nice, we got a nice navigation or aftermarket Navi, stereo. Short throw shifter. We got the air tank. Oh, in. let's open what the truck. What the heck dude. is that, dude? Oh, Look how battery's dead. Battery's dead. Let me get the key. All right, I was just about to go to the exhaust. Look at that, freaking! Oh my gosh, what size what tires are these? It? What kind of exhaust is this? I'm not sure, but it's just like a single. Dude, look at them airbags. That is sweet, dude. Dude, that is sweet. Look how wide the tires are. It is a 
vibrant, vibrant exhaust, huh? Vibrant. I never heard of that brand. Hey, I want that sound to be very vibrant. Dang. Look, Look this we got dam some damage right here. Somebody did some body work. A little crack right there. So we'll take care of it. We'll take care of that. Oh, dude, the it's called Airlift Performance. Dude, check this thing that out. That is sick. I'm that is, very happy to see that. That is some cool. Got an airbag dude. right here. Should be cheap. Airbag right here. That Fix them up. Nothing. And try to just get into the trunk here. Yeah. There should be a key somewhere. This dude might have wrecked his car and decided to go with the wide body because he didn't know how to do body work or something. Why is it? <laughs> No, I'm just saying. That's just a that's just a is guess. The, is the quarter panels cut? Yeah, they're cut and been tucked in. You see that? Yeah. But look at this wheel, man. Oh my gosh, man. Hopefully we could buy one of them, or maybe we'll go with a new set. Let's get into this trunk, though. I just can't find. I don't think there's anywhere I could put a key in. I mean, it does have a key. I just don't see it. Fuel. It might it might not shut. Might not shut. A few things we're not gonna worry about right now. Right, right. I want to get in here, dude. Check it out from the top. Let me get it. Let me get Those up two top. Compressors. That is sick, dude. That looks so good. There should be like a quick, quick latch or something. Dude, this thing is wide. Three seventies. These are already wide, you know, factory. So yeah. No latch or anything. Can't find it. Can't find anything to open that. Dang, right. man. That's that's weird. So the battery's just completely dead. And we forgot our little booster box. How'd the gears feel? No power at all. Oh, there's a little short throw shifter in here. Look at that little, uh, what is that? Nitrous? <laughs> it's probably the airlift. Probably the airlift for sure. That's gonna be sweet, dude. I can't wait to drop this thing completely down. Let's see what's under the hood here. Nice. So V6. Regular. Can't believe he didn't even go with uh, intakes here. Yeah, no aftermarket intakes or anything. Just went full wide body and uh, airbags. We got a good hood, right? Good hood. Yeah, good hood. Front bumper is crap. Look at that. What? Oh, that's a paint crack. Yeah, it definitely had a. Somebody different... did a crappy paint job. For sure. Hood won't close. There she goes. Just We're gonna have to now. polish them headlights out and stuff like that. But oh, yeah. I love the xenon look. Anything else? I'm just looking at the suspension. How all the airlines run, that's really nice stuff. I can't believe somebody would do that to the Brembos. Cheap paint, man, cheap paint. I cannot believe that. What, what size tires are these? That's what I was thinking, 325s. 325, that's pretty wide. That is pretty dang wide. All right, let's strap it up. Yeah, let's strap it up and uh, we'll talk about it at the house. All right, let's so we it. finally made it back, it is dark. Well, we're about to pull it into the garage there and we're gonna inspect it a little bit more. We're about to actually start it up. So here goes the first start. We're gonna show you guys what it sounds like with that single exhaust. I hopefully think hopefully it starts up. Yeah, hopefully it starts up. I think it will. We need we do need to check the oil and the, all the fluids as usual. Maybe right before we crank it up, or you just gonna send it. I'm just gonna send it, honestly. He's just gonna send it. I bet the air suspension is what killed it. Probably. Dang, this sucker is lifted high, man. It needs to be deflated. No, right? Oh, good thing we bought a brand new battery for the Viper. We throw it in here. We're gonna throw it into I'll here. Let's see what size this one is. For the first time, it is pretty dang dark outside right now, but you don't need your eyes to hear. <laughs> that sounds weird as heck. It does. Yeah, at least we got the red lights, red interior. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Woo! A little bit of smoke coming out the back. Heck yeah, bro. Got that thing fired up. I wonder why it took so long. still wobbling on that thing right there. Hey, she took a licking and kept on ticking right there. <laughs> I wanna see how the, wanna see how the air suspension works. Oh yeah, dude, look at that. How do you lower it? Oh, oh 
my gosh, no. dude. No. no, that is so freaking sick. That is sick. Go back down. I think you went up a little bit with it. Can you slam that bad boy for me? Yeah. Yo. All the way. All the way, dude. That looks sick. <laughs> that is crazy, man. Yo, dude, that's insane. <laughs> slam. Freaking wide body slam. That is just absolutely insane. Dude, that looks so good, dude. Go ahead and turn the car off. That thing is tucked. I wonder if it operates with the car off, too, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think so. It, it turns off whenever the ignition is off. Oh. Uh, that is pretty dang cool right there. I want to check the wall and stuff. Right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe you should, uh... I mean, engine bay is pretty dang clean, I gotta say. It'll yeah, clean it up. Is. It is really clean. I was surprised how, how much miles it has and how clean it is. Yeah. I mean, the headlights, like I said, could use a buff. Probably gonna repaint the whole entire car, but that's in the future. For sure, you guys. Whoever painted this sucks. Come on, man. 100% sucks. Don't know how to paint. Coolant is good. We have coolant. Oh, dang. Dry to oh, the bone. Oh. <laughs> Probably why I didn't want to start. But we'll top it off here. In the... Once you had them gears moving around, it splashed it around the whole system and it finally yeah. fired it up. But yeah, we will add that. That is insane though, dude. Look the how that looks, man. Is freaking, that looks so good. It does. I've never had a wide body car or a bagged car on air. Dude. And it just feels that, good. That is legit, dude. That looks so good. All right, so we just topped off the oil. We're good there. It was running really low, so good thing we caught that thing in time. But now we're just gonna, I guess, look around the car. I want to open that trunk up. What the? Hold on, man. There, oh. there she goes. She it's will, it's uh, three slams. A little three bit hard. Three slams and one hard slam. And one hard slam, and you got it. But let's pop this trunk. Let's see. Look at that huge tank, dude. dude that's awesome, dude. That's gotta be the freaking highlight of this Dang, build. Oh my gosh. Dude. That is insane. Dude, Freaking that is bags, sick, bro. dude. I wonder how much something like this cost. Dang, that's a good question. Air, this is an AirTech, is that what it is? Yeah, something like that, because it's got the little nice remote control. Dude, this thing is sick. Freaking awesome. What else we got under here? He didn't mount it right. So somebody, some people just don't know how to build. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we got the air, it's an airlift performance kit, whatever, it has all the, and you can see all that. There's another remote in there. That looks like for the aftermarket uh, radio or yeah, whatever. Yeah, that one radio that he has. It got like a whole control panel and everything back yeah. here, dude. That is sweet, dude. That is awesome. Freaking, freaking bags, dude. Look how wide it is. It is super wide. Look how freaking wide it is. Yeah, yeah I want to do. I do want to lift it up, like you were saying, lift it up on the quick jacks and see what's going on underneath the car. I can Pretty just much. lift it up with the air, man. Or that, yeah. Let's see how high Let's it will go. I think that was the highest when we got the car. It starts a lot better now. Oh, there I we think go. This is the... <laughs> I think this is the ride height. Yeah, that looks like the stock ride height. This is adjusted to a ride height because it's already programmed. So this is like what you would drive in right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and raise it yeah, all the way. Yeah, keep going, go all the way to the top. Dang, what the heck? Yo. That is freaking high, man. Is that all the way? <laughs> that thing looks like it's popping a wheelie. That thing is slammed. Up front, look at that. Golly, dude. That's perfect if you're going over speed bumps or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. That's a perfect speed bump. Now I'm just going to slam it. Get a good shot of me. Just slam it, dude. Slam I'm going to get it from this angle right here. Awesome. I mean, you're not going to be driving around like that, I don't think so. Oh, heck no. You would, you would not You would not drive around like that for sure. I wonder what brand these wheels are right here. They are three-piece. They're legit three-piece. You can feel Are they really? Here. Yeah. Legit three piece, there's just no branding or anything. Guys, comment down below what brand these are because we might see if we can get one wheel because this wheel over here, right here is completely oh shot. And I'm surprised that it didn't crack. That may be a sign Forged. of a good wheel, you know, a good brand name. I don't know what it is, but it did bend really good. And they did powder coat these, as you can see. Is that powder coat or just painted? 
Um, that may be paint, honestly. I think that's paint. I don't know how if powder coat would chip no, like that. No, powder coat wouldn't just like flake. It, that looks like it's flaking. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe based off of the paint of the car, I'm pretty sure that was some cheap paint right there. You can see how it was sanded. Or or that's the wheel company that painted it. You don't you don't ever know, you know. Yeah, Somebody, that's true. Or this may be the same. It don't. You think that's the same color as the car? I think that's the same color as the car. That is legit. Man, this thing needs a clean, man. You know how we like to clean all of our vehicles? Yes, it so, definitely needs a nice wash to see exactly how the paint looks. But that'll probably be tomorrow morning, so yep. we'll catch you guys then. Peace. Alrighty guys, so it's the next day and you guys know how we like to give our cars a clean as soon as we get them. So we're gonna detail the outside of it and then we're gonna pull it inside the garage and detail the interior. inside it is super cold outside as you can see the water is just icing over as soon as we washed it so that's crazy cold out there but now we got it in the garage it's gonna get a little bit warmer we got our stove on but in the meantime we're gonna jump into the interior and clean it up Guys, check it out, man. She cleaned up great. Definitely gonna do our own touches to it. Probably repaint the whole entire thing. Make it look absolutely perfect. But this build is definitely gonna be one of those that we're gonna build with you guys. You guys have a big say in what we do to this car. We're trying to do the drift car vibe because we are gonna try to take this to the drift track and do some drifting with it, of course. So let us know in the comments down below what we should do to this build. With that being said, guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you'll get an inside scoop there before YouTube. Also guys, be sure to stay tuned, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Be sure to visit GoonSquad.com, copy some merch, and support your boys. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.